Hey guys, Capper here. Uh, June 29th, and today's mission is to run across the river into Kentucky. And uh, we're going to measure the distance for power to see about uh, possibly trenching in power up to that barn on the hill. I'm also going to meet with the power company guy. Yeah, I soaked one shirt so it's drying out already for, just from being outside for a little bit. Um, but anyways, uh, I would like to bring power and water probably 1,500 to 2,000 feet somewhere in that vicinity all the way up to that property top where that barn is because I think it would increase the value of that property in the future. So let's go meet with the power company rep, see if we can find some answers and decide what may or may not be next. All right, June 29th, I'm in Kentucky today and I'm gonna run up. I'm a, first, I'm gonna meet the power company representative and talk about options, but I'm also gonna measure the distance from the power that's down by the road all the way up to the hill to the barn because I'm looking at doing it myself, maybe putting power and water all the way up on that hill. It's about, I'm gonna guess, 1,600 feet or so. So he'll be here shortly. Let's run the uh, measuring wheel up the hill and see how it goes. So here's where the power and water come in at. It's a little bit up from the road, not too far. So I'm gonna run the measuring wheel all the way up the hill and we'll see how it turns out. All right, I need my other hand. All right, so to the top of the hill, I estimated 500 feet. And we're almost there, and we're at 477. So I estimated pretty good. I'm debating on having the power company run it up this rock hill about 500 feet. And then I'll take it from there, but that would be about 8,000 bucks to have them bury it up here to the top of the hill. And we're actually a little over 500 already. Alright, 1,884 feet, plus overlaps on each end, not too bad. Whew, it's hot. Alright, I just met with the power company guy. The, new, the news ain't the greatest, but we did come up with a plan at the end. So right here we have 200 amp service, alright, and this ends right here, and from here it's 1,900 feet up to the building. He said that even with a 20% line loss, which is what the charts show, he said, you ain't going to be able to run a house. You ain't going to be able to run an air conditioner. I've run a 1,000 foot run before, and I think I've run a 1,200 foot and didn't have any problems running an air conditioner. But then we came up with a better idea. So the transformer is right back here. All right. So what he did say is I could change that to 400 amp service. I talked to my electrician. He's an industrial electrician. I'm thinking he knows all this. So if we put 400 amp service there and I run it with 4 ot it's called a triple uh, tri triplex, aluminum 4 ot So at 2,000 feet, I'd have about a 20% loss, but if it's 400 amp service, we'd still be money ahead by the top, time we get to the top of the hill for a reasonable investment. Okay, so that information wasn't necessarily correct, and here's my issue. I'm getting differing information from differing companies on the triplex four odd you got triplex sweet briar you got triplex monmouth you got all these different wires with different capacities so right now i just got off the phone with another representative of these wire companies and the four odds going to be too small it's just it's going to have 40 percent 
or 33% line loss at 2,000 feet. So moving up to the next size, it's a 350 or a 500 wire. And I'm getting those via email soon. But the 350 wire at 2,000 feet will have a 25.61 voltage loss. And the 500 wire at 2,000 feet will have a 20% voltage loss. So now I'm getting with my electrician to try to figure out what loss for 2,000 feet is going to be acceptable where I could still run a full household air conditioner heater and a barn and such in case somebody wants to build up there in the future. Because if I'm going to trench wire, I might as well make it and pay a little extra now to where it can run a full household because that is an absolutely dynamite building site up there on that hill. Okay, so before we continue, let me share with you the pricing that I talked over with the power company representative. So for overhead line, and there's some twist to this, if you can make a nice straight line, it's going to be cheaper than having jogs, you know, because of the way they uh, anchor the power lines. But generally, he said it's going to be between 9 and 12 bucks a foot for overhead line. So for 2,000 feet at 12 bucks a foot, you're looking at a $24,000 investment. And with that, then you have to still hire someone to come in and make, it needs to be a 20 foot clearing, a straight shot through the woods and up the hill. So you're gonna have to pay an excavator to clear these big oak trees so you have a line. Now, if you did underground and followed the driveway, you're looking at about $16 per foot. So for a 2,000 foot run underground, you're looking at $32,000. However, it's going to be more than that because they don't dig their own trench. For underground, you actually have to dig the trench and you have to provide 2 inch conduit so they can run their power line through the 2 inch conduit. And he said right now, 2 inch conduit pipes per 20 foot section are going for I think he said you know, either $20 or $50 but either way just the line itself is 32,000 plus you have to dig the trench 2,000 feet plus you have to buy the conduit and lay it in the trench so you're looking at I mean you could be looking at $50,000 to run buried power up to this site if you have them do it kind of with you kind of thing so let's get back to today's analysis so right now I'm still doing research but stay tuned if this stuff interests you because I'll put up a follow-up to this to find out more details I'm not an electrician I'm just trying to educate myself from the people that know better about all this stuff and we are gonna look into solar but honestly I'd much rather have hard power up to that site for the future uh, because solar I mean solar is nice maybe for a cabin or something but it, like I said this is a building site that would be very very stunning for either us or someone else in the future so stay tuned I'll bring you more information as it comes and as I learn it as we go so my next goal and there's more to that you know we talked about running lines overhead versus underground and i'd have to clear a whole new clearing through the woods and it would have to be straight to the building you know for the power lines and so we went over a bunch of stuff but i think this 400 amp service might be the plan so stay tuned we'll see what happens